All right, what's good, guys? This is the DRP four twenty four VE uh, system test number two, old ESL. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Black Lightning forty five forty seven. I'm your host Devin. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content for your eyes. Make sure you impale the notification bell. Thank you for viewing the channel and I hope all is well. Yeah, so that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and start a system test series with my homemade panel. Um, you guys have seen this in the latest garage system test before it got converted onto the main panel. But uh, yeah, as you guys may or may not know, this is my homemade panel. It is a conventional panel. It's four zones. It is 24 volts DC. It is voice evac capable. Um, my brand right now is Devon Research Protection, which is kind of a double entendre because that's also my initials. Um, so yeah. So as uh, the title states, we have an older ESL. Um, I know I have done an ESL-themed system test before with the MS5UD, but this is going to be older devices. Um, so without further ado, um, let's go ahead and get an in-depth look. So for the pull station, we have my ADT5060S, uh, which I believe the original maker is ESL. Um, this one just looks a little bit more uh, different. The ESL one has... Uh, a little bit skinnier font, smaller font, and it also has a hex lock instead of a key lock. And no, guys, it did not come like this. It did come as a dual action uh, pull station, but the dual action part broke. The tabs on the back of the push bar broke off, so um, it served no pu purpose. So I just went ahead and removed it. So now it's just single action. Um, so that's why it kind of looks weird. Um, it's not an official single action pull station but yeah so we have that today right here we have my ESL 10752 um, it is pretty much just a Faraday 6120 which by the way it actually does have a Faraday 6120 horn in it um, because the original 10752 horn died pretty much when I got it and I put a speaker in it and uh, I was like, you know what, much just match the theme. So I just went ahead and took the um, mechanism from the FOS horn strobe and I slapped it in here. So instead of having the uh, the clear 120 candela strobe, we now have the two candela strobe glazed lens. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it actually says ESL down there. So yeah. And then finally for the smoke detector, we have an ESL... Uh, 449 CST if I'm not mistaken yeah 449 CST it is photoelectric and it has a heat sensor um, it also has a sounder in it so which is pretty cool um, but yeah so there's that um, here's the inside of the panel like I said you guys have oop, have seen this before um, I did do an update to it. I went ahead and updated the coding options and stuff. And so it pretty much now has the same coding options as my homemade coder. And so, yeah, whereas before it just had uh, eight coding options and you had to change that sync protocol in the program. But now all the sync protocols are moved onto their own dedicated dip switches. And now, like I said, I expanded a little bit, as you guys can see. Um, so pretty much the new ones are the, like I said, Simplex 4002 style, Temporal 33, and uh, ESTU Morse code. Um, but yeah, all the others were already on the panel. And like I said, here's what the panel looks like. A 20 by 4 uh, LCD display. We have all the Renac circuits right here. Speaker, 10 ohm resistor for the end of the line. And then we have our visual our, our audible circuit right here and then our visual circuit right here and then here's our zones our idc zone one two three and four by the way the pull station is on zone one and the smoke detector is on zone two uh, like i said the 
microcontroller is a Arduino Mega. And then step down regulator for the Mega. Two LEDs. This is red for fire alarm. That's uh, yellow for system trouble. We have our voice commands, which um, obviously is no speakers are hooked up. So obviously our walk tests are, uh, like I said, there's a dip switch block in there. First one's walk test, and then the next four are for recording option, and then the last one is for audible silence. And then, like I said, two buttons right there for our main controls, our knowledge, alarm silence button right there, and then our system reset. And then we have an 8-channel, 24-volt DC relay board. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is actually a 4-wire detector, not a 2-wire. So, um, my panel does support 2-wire detectors as well as 4-wire detectors. I did have to jerry-rig it a little bit just because I don't have a dedicated terminal for a... Uh, for resettable power so I actually have to hook up the positive to this top relay right here which is responsible for uh, cutting the power, power to the IDC to reset the detectors and stuff so yeah that's just connected directly to this first relay up there and then uh, the negative is connected directly to the power supply and then the contact side is connected to zone 2 which by the way these right here are the inner line um, they're 1k ohm uh resistors and they're five watt they're pretty beefy uh resistors but yeah like i said that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get the camera set back up and let's test this thing all right so right now the system is set on code 33 three, and uh let's go ahead and activate the adt 5060s first There's that. So, pull station, zone one alarm silence. Gotta take the key. And it does take the firelight key. I do have a firelight lock on it right now. Let's go ahead and take our simplex B key. Um, reset the pull station. Make sure that it's closed all the way. Here's that. And, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and test the uh, ESL detector. Um, I'm going to grab a Q-tip and uh, a lighter, and we're going to actually use smoke to test it out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test the detector. I did set it to 90 beat march time, so let the Q-tip on fire, let it burn. Like I said, the sounder will still go, but let's make sure to blow it out. And let's go ahead and reset. All right. So, took a while, but um, yeah. And like I said, it has its own sounder. That sounder will stay on until... Uh, the 
detector resets and clears. So, but yeah, guys. So, hope you guys enjoy the little demo of my homemade panel. It's been your boy, Black Lightning 4547. Take care and have a good one.